it a give it a blip then. Let's shall do it. it. Let's go. Not bad, is it? <laughs> right. See you later. Does lads. it tell you your MPG there? It doesn't. And it's I'm probably really... best you don't know. This is a C7 Grand Sport. Grand Sport. And move that there. And uh, I guess. Let's go. Oh. Absolute pro. My word, here we are. This is crazy. I want to give it <laughs> this a This is absolute gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the noise of the world. Just the, the little gurgles at the back there. Where's the most iconic place to wreck the car, do you think? Are we going this way? Um, keep going straight. Uh, I guess so. I would is. say probably in the tunnel. Yeah. Or Sandivot. We can do it through the casino. And there'll be plenty of uh, spectators. So we're coming up to the tunnel now. I think we can go through it. There's a lot of engineering work. So whenever we come here, there's always like stuff going on because they spend pretty much all the off season of F1 preparing for F1. Yep. So it's kind of mad. We have to go right here. So that is just from the hairpin. Hairpin's back there. And now we're coming oh, through. Oh, we've got mist. Through the right-hander into the tunnel. Yes, lads. This is pretty amazing. We're going through the tunnel in a in a Corvette. We're F1 drivers, but like budget F1 drivers. So as I say budget, this car is not cheap, and I'm very aware of that. Maybe one last little before we get out. <laughs> oh my god! How? <laughs> What's it like being here in Monaco and going to these places? Because when you're like watching on the TV, they're just places that don't really exist, but. Honestly, yeah, they do obviously, but you don't really connect it's to honestly, reality. It's, it's surreal being here. The fact that I've watched this place for 20 years on, yeah. on the TV, Formula One, played it on so many games, and then you're here, mm. and it's like, oh, I've watched that, that corner. I've seen someone crash there, and then I'm just walking up that hill or driving up that hill. It is honestly crazy. And the course in the Corvette as well, which you know, you can. Um drive in GT Sport to So this degree. is where Schumacher parked it, right yeah, there, I was, I was gonna try and put it over there and then uh, could, give uh, Steve a go, but I don't think I can pull over here. No, just we'll, 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 we'll keep going around, we'll, we'll find somewhere for Steve, because we've got to give him a go in this. This is a, it's a really experience. And now we're coming around, Sandevo is there, yes. and this is the start-finish line here. Yeah, and, and the old pits, of course, used to be on the, uh, on the right here, so. So here, because of the Gran Turismo, Monaco, of course, World Finals. Honestly, it's been a crazy year. It has been, yeah. But I mean, just to cap it off with a drive around the city in a Corvette, <laughs> the opportunities with this championship is just absolutely crazy. There's the finish line. There it is. Monaco and GP whoa, winner. Easy, easy win. <laughs> Get in there, Easy Lewis. win for us. Oh. I mean, we can go up, so yeah, into Sandoval, yep. and now right, we go Q1 up the hill. Q1 party mode, Lewis, hammer time. Um, I really want to pull over because we're almost kind of completing a lap here. This is this is really quite the, the change of direction is quite severe, isn't it? Like, yeah, you can't really notice this on the on the TV, I must say. Quickest pit stop of all time. Oh, there we go, boys. Right, there you go. Quickest put, pit stop of all time. There. That puts Le Mans to shame. <laughs> That's better than our karting pit stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna now try and find our way back to the hotel. Uh, we've just dropped below where the casino is. Yep, going through Casino Square here. Bears around to the left. Well, what's pretty mad as well is that everyone's taking pictures. There's a lot of tourists in Monaco, yeah. as you can imagine. It's like, yeah, this is definitely our car. You get quite a lot of attention. So you wanna go through here, you're good. Yeah, well, we've been fine. playing Gran Turismo, what, since the 90s? Yeah, I mean. And here we are 20 or more than, more than 20 years later, driving around Monaco because go, of Gran Turismo. I'm about to go through the hairpin. Through the hairpin. Oh my God, here we go. You're not going to clip the apex now. <laughs> no, Miles, look at that. I'm about 20 metres from the apex. That is the Jimmy Broadbent line there. Good, good <laughs> job, mate. <laughs> you can feel it as well. It's just like, yeah, okay. You know, I've it got all this, go. all this talk in the world. So we've got to go around to the right here and back it back yeah. in again. Well, How, how's your reverse parking? Um, well, we're about to find out, I guess. Oh, no, the police are here. <laughs> They've um, come to find us. Yeah, they've tracked us down. There we go. What an amazing experience that was. Absolutely incredible. Well, any, any final thoughts, really? <sighs> I'm lost for words, really. Yeah. It's just epic. I mean, again, to reiterate, to, to get to come and drive on a circuit, and we're part of a circuit anyway, that 
to me, I thought were completely unavailable. You know, just, there was no chance of doing it, no chance of being here. And definitely pleasure to be with you, Steve. A pleasure. It's not my friend. Pleasure. Absolutely. Very honor. good. It was absolutely amazing. <sighs> Hopefully, we can do more of the same in 2020.